All right, so we're going to look at graphing linear equations. Uh, this video is graphing linear equations using the y-intercept and the slope, the rise over run. Uh, I've got some other videos where we're graphing by using a table and another video where we're graphing them uh, by finding the x and y intercepts. So check those out. Okay? I wanted to do videos on everything you could come across. So looking at this one, to graph it using the y-intercept and the slope, your equation needs to be in this form, y equals mx plus b, okay? where this is the slope, the m is your slope, and then b is your y-intercept. Now, m, that's the slope. That's the slope. And then the y-intercept, that's in the form 0, b. That's the coordinate for your y-intercept. 0, and then whatever this number is. Okay. And so what you'll do is you'll plot this point, and then we'll use the slope, which is rise over run. Okay. Remember, remember the slope is m, but you can look at it as rise over run. We'll need to look at it as a fraction. The rise tells us how we move up and down, and the run tells us how we move left and right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and identify the slope. So the slope, that's the number in front of x, which is 2. But what we're going to do, instead of just 2, we're going to look at it as 2 over 1. We want to see it as a fraction. See, this is your rise, and the 1 is your run. And then the y-intercept is 0, and then b. And in this case, b is 1. All right. So what we do is we plot the y-intercept, which is the point 0, 1, okay? and then we use the slope. The rise is 2, so the rise tells us how we move up and down, and since the rise is positive 2, we're going to go up 2 units. Okay. The run the run is 1, positive 1. So that means from here we're going to go to the right 1 unit. And that's going to give us another point right here. And then you can draw your line. Okay. Let's look at another one. Alright, so I got y equals 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so let's get the slope. So the slope, that's the number in front of x, which is one half. The y-intercept is zero and then whatever this number is, which is three. Okay, so now I'm going to plot the y-intercept, which is zero, three. So one, zero, and then one, two, three. The slope is one, two. Remember, this is your rise, this is your run, and so the rise is 1, so that's a positive 1, so I go up 1. The run is positive 2, so I go to the right 2 units. And that leaves me with another point right there. And then we can just connect the lines. And there's your graph. Alright, last one. Alright, so let's get the slope. Okay, so the slope is negative 2 over 3. That's the number in front of x. But what we want to do is that negative sign, we want to put it either in the numerator or the denominator. It makes no difference where you put it. You can put it in the numerator or denominator. I'm going to put it in the numerator, and I'll show you, I'll do it again with the negative in the denominator and show you how it doesn't make a difference. And then the y-intercept is 0, 1. Okay. So let's plot our point, 0, 1, 0, 1. And then remember, this is rise 
overrun. All right. So the rise is negative 2. So that means I go down 2 units. The run is positive 3. So that means I go to the right 3 units. And there's another point right there. And then I can graph this. And there's my line. Okay. Now, let's suppose that with the slope, instead of negative 2 over 3, we wrote 2 over negative 3. Okay, let's do the same thing. So from my y-intercept, if I go up 2 units, okay, and then my run is negative 3, so that means I go to the left 3 units, there's my other point. So you see, it makes no difference. If you put the negative, it's just going to be on one side of the y-intercept. If you put the negative in the denominator, it'll be on the other side. That's the only difference it makes. But you'll get the same graph. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out the other ones. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.